गुड इवनिंग हेलो एवरीबॉडी गुड इवनिंग टीचर गुड इवनिंग क्रिस मिस्टर आर्यस वेलकम टू द क्लास जानसी गुड इवनिंग टीचर गुड इवनिंग इट्स अ प्लेजर मिस अबारे बिगिनिंग इट्स अ प्लेजर टीचर व्हाट अबाउट यू आई एम आई डू वर्क इन लाइक अ लॉयर Ah uh, no 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 I I don't well I I have I have done some some uh works but no I don't work as a lawyer just it can't be no it maybe can't be it, why is not the in the future maybe right Chris <laughs> all right okay. I hope I hope if the you know he permits well, I will do it right what about you you are a lawyer too Chris Chris are you a lawyer Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. Every time I need uh, to solve a, a legal problem, I would say, Chris, help me. <laughs> okay, good. So, okay, class, welcome. welcome. Dago, Josue, Jorge, Marcela. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Now, let's just start with one exercise. Review, right? Review. Repaso. Review. Last class, we were learning about the use of the reason there are, you know, there are comfortable rooms, there are, there is a huge parking lot, there are nice places to rest, there is an illuminated training room, there is a narrow reception area, there are small offices, there is a disgusting kitchen area, and there is a a smelly living room, right? Now, we're going to complete similar sentences using the, the information here, right? Let's just start with number one, right? Small gym, singular or plural, class? Small gym is, a, is singular or plural? Singular. It's singular, so we're going to use there is or there are? There is. There is, right? There is a... A small gym. A small gym. No. It is a small gym. Yes, very good. There is a small gym. Number two, singular or plural? Plural. Plural, right? Training rooms. So there is or there are? There are. There are. New training rooms. New training room, right? Okay, that's it. Good. Now let's go to number two, right? Dagoberto, can you help me with number? No, well, it says number three. Sorry. Plural. Yeah. So tell me, there is, there are, Dago. There are cleaning cafeterias. There are clean cafeterias. Correct. Right. Thank you. Jansi, number four. Uh, singular. Singular, right? So, there. There is. There. A smart meeting room. There is a smart meeting room, right? Good. Teacher question, cafeterias is a good work. Yes, of course, cafeteria, yes. It's, it's correct. We have another word. Uh, let's try to say the cafeteria in plural. Cafeterias? Mm -hmm. no, cafeterias. Funny. There are two cafeterias in the commercial center, for example, yes? Singular or plural? Hey, teacher. Hey, hello. Only Mario. that word. No, we have a coffee shop, restaurant. Ah, Restaurant, coffee shop, cafeteria. Yeah. There is okay. many, many words Thank to you. refer to the place. Starbucks. <laughs> okay. It's a commercial. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Now, uh, there is a smart meeting room. Thank you. Now, Mario, number five. Bathrooms. Plural or singular, Mario? Number five.
Sorry, teacher, I, I can't hear you. Okay, uh, that we are checking the use of there is, there are, plus adjective. For example, here, look, a uh, small, small is an adjective and Jim is a noun, right? New, training room, clean, cafeterias, smart, meeting room. So with number five, there is or there are, Mario? Uh, there are. There are? Unpleasant bathrooms. Unpleasant bathrooms. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Good. Now, uh, Glenda, please. Hey, Otmar, welcome to the class, Otmar. We miss you. No, no había hecho falta, Otmar. <laughs> welcome. Glenda, number six, please. There is. There is, right? A cubic click tie. There is a cubicle is cubicle, cubicle right? I mean, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cubicle is a noun. And tiny is a small, Glenda. Tiny is very small. So there is a a tiny cubicle. A tiny cu cubicle, right? A tiny okay. cubicle. Mm -hmm. There is a tiny cubicle, right? Okay, class. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There is a small gym. There are new training rooms. There are clean cafeterias. There is a smart meeting room. There are unpleasant bathrooms. Unpleasant bathrooms. There is a tiny cubicle. Tiny cubicle. Okay, Dago, please read all the sentences for the class, please. Thank you. Read. There is a small gym. There are new training rooms. There are clean cafeterias. There is a smart meeting rooms. There are unpleasant bathrooms. There is a tiny cubicle. 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 Good. And look at this, Dagoberto. Smart. There is smart. There is a smart. smart. Oh, okay. That's that's there correct. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now uh, let's begin with the class of today. The class of today. Okay, let me see. Okay, class, today is Friday, Friday, yes, Friday, Friday, uh, November 24th, right, November 24th, and we're going to practice with vocabulary, we're going to continue talking about location, right, locations, eh? okay, good, uh, I will take the attendance and I have some news today, today we're going to check together the final test right? Today we have to finish everything in the platform. Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4, and the two tests. Four units, two exams, right? Finish today, right? For Monday, for Monday you must come to class. You must stay in class, right? Monday is obligation for everybody. No excuses. 
teacher, me tengo que quedar, pues no, class, or, excuse me, is the last class, right? Teacher, eh, voy a ver un programa de televisión y no voy a estar en la clase. No, no, no. Mm -mm, no. Teacher, voy a comer un pedazo de semita y no voy a estar en la clase. No, no, no. <ríe> Monday, mandatory. Nadie tiene que faltar, right? Ni oyentes, ni nada. No, nothing. Ni cámaras apagadas. No, no. Everybody is going to participate, right? Monday. And on Monday, we are going to complete a, a poll. A poll is uh, una encuesta, right? In support, poll. So it's obligation for you to complete the, 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 the poll, you know, la, la encuesta. It's, it's obligation for Monday. So please do not miss the class on Monday. Okay? Then I will take the attendance. Ana Maria? Present. Oh, sorry. Are you going to participate, Ana Maria? Participation today? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I hope you get better. Espero que se mejore, Ana Maria. Okay, Brian. Claudia. Claudia. Present. Okay. Come on, Claudia. I want. I I want to hear that you are happy. Siempre me habla alegre. ¿Qué pasa ahora que está triste? Eh? Ok, Chris. Here, teacher. Thank you. Daisy. Mis castellanos. Dagoberto. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Present. Thank you very much, Griselda. Present. Thank you, Griselda. Eh, Jorge. Present. Thank you. Eh, José. Present. Thank you, Mr. Castillo Gaitán. And Carolina. Christian Carolina. Marcela. Present teacher. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, ¿Va a poder participar, Marcela? O... Sí, está bien. Sí. Ok, good. Don't worry, a small commenter, right? Comentarios chiquitos. <ríe> ok, eh, Ernesto. Mr. Melgar Lima. Ok, Mario. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Eh, Marlon. Present teacher. Welcome, Present. Marlon. Uh -huh. Welcome, good. Eh, maybe. Otmar. Present. Thank you, Otmar. Saúl. Yancy. Present teacher. Okie dokie. Present, te present teacher. Okay, Saúl, thank you very much. Thank you. Now I have some messages here, some messages in the chat. It says, Griselda con el audio, teacher. No escucho la... Ah. And, and now, Griselda, hoy oh, ya nos escucha, Griselda. Hello, 104, 104. Yes. yes, okay, good. Bueno, ya nos escucha. Thank you. Luego tengo a Christian, right? Eh, ah, okay, good. Va a salir y entrar, dice Griselda. Okay, thank you, Sam. Ya pude, ya pude. Ah, ya, yes, aquí está el mensaje ya. Thank you, Griselda. Very good. Excelentoso. Now, let's read, please. Jancy, read the objective for today, please. Read the objective for the class. I will be able, 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 able to pay some, some, someone, some direction of where. Mi workplace in someone. someone else's. ¿Cómo? Someone, no, don't say cómo, say what. What? <laughs> okay. Someone, someone else's. Someone else's are located. 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 
Okay. The location, the direction okay. of the place. Right. Thank you, Yancy. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, let's practice again with some places. Repeat after me, please. A bank. A restaurant. A pharmacy. A school. A bookstore. A taxi stand. A mall. Saul, please read again. Only you. A bank. A restaurant. A pharmacy. A school. A bookstore. A taxi stand. A mall. Excellent. Also, right now, everybody, repeat, please. Repeat. A closed store. An electronic store. Electronic store. A fire station. A police station. A shoe store. A toy store. A park. Okay. Please, can you help me reading, Otmar? A long store. An electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a show store, a toy store, a park. Excellent. Thank you, Admar. Now, everybody, please repeat after me. A dry cleaners. A gas station. A hotel. A supermarket. A convenience store. A travel agency. Travel. Agency. A church. Okay, thank you very much, class. Now, uh, Marlon. Can you repeat, please? Marlon? Okay. Um, so, Mario, help me, please. Uh, dry cleaners, a gas station, a hotel. A supermarket, a convenience store, a travel agency, a church. Good. So these are some places we were learning yesterday, right? Yesterday. Now we're going to talk about some prepositions. Here we have some preposition, right? Among. In front of near and past, right? Now, how do you say among? Well, there are two words. We can say between between means, in this case, okay, and among means okay that's the meaning right among in front of 
is similar to say opposite, opposite, or you can say uh, cross, across from, across from. You can say opposite, across from, or you can say in front of, right? Near is a synonym of close, cerca, close, right? And past means pasando. Pasando, right? Okay, now listen. Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on Barrio Street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? Is located near the restaurant. Near the restaurant. What is the church? Is located past the school. Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What is the park located? It is located among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It is located on Barrio Street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It is located near the restaurant. What is the church? Is located past the school. Okay, good. So these are some directions when we use some preposition of places. Remember, we also have in, on, and at, right? To add more information about preposition of place, right? Okay, now let's go to the practice. Good. Now, here we have this question. Here we have this question. Look. Where? Where is when we talk about places, right? Where is the restaurant? Where is the, where is the, for example, the church? Where is the, the pupuseria? Where is the supermarket? Where is the Mexico Gonzalez Stadium? Where, right? And when we talk about singular places, in this case, restaurant is only one restaurant, we say, where's, where's the restaurant? Use it to replace the names of places. So instead of say a restaurant, we say it, it is next to the rest, grocery store. So it equals to say the restaurant. So we say, where is the restaurant? It's next to the grocery store. You can also say, uh, where is the restaurant? The restaurant is next to the grocery store, right? The restaurant is next to the grocery store. So, but in this case, it make the substitution of restaurant. Well, the example is, where's the pupuseria? Where is the pupuseria? The pupuseria is next to the grocery store. Oh, it's next to the grocery store. Where is is contracted where's and it is is contracted it's. Okay. Do you have questions? Huh? No questions? question, teacher. No question. I am not the teacher, Mario. I am Dudley. Yes. Sorry, Dudley. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Okay, Mario. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I work with kinder, so. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's continue, right? Good. Here we have this map. Look, observe this map. Yesterday we were learning with this, right? Notice. Here we have 
the shopping center, the gas station, the public library, electronics, eh, post office, Joyce Gym, O'Day's department store, mom and pop's grocery, Parker's drugstore, Top Shoes, Top Shoes, right? Kim Plaza Hotel, okay, Kim Plaza Hotel. We also have a Rosa's restaurant, Rosa's restaurant, right? We have here a Frank's Cafe and James Jamison Hotel, right? Okay. Uh, we are going to tell the location of these places, right? Using among, next to, between, in, on, at, etc., etc. All the prepositions we have already worked with, right? Todas las preposiciones con las que ya trabajamos, okay? Good. And we're going to make this conversation. Excuse me. What is the bank? The bank? It's on Pine Street. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Excuse me. Where's the bank? It's on Pine Street. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, class. Now let's begin. This time, uh, let me see. Mario, please. No. Uh, Ernesto, are you here in class, Ernesto? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, good. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. So, uh, Marlon? Marlon, are you here? No. Okay. So, in this case, Mario and, 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 and Ernesto, right? Mario, you are letter A. Uh, but you don't say the bank. You can say the gas station, the public library, the Kim Plaza Hotel, Rosa Restaurant, Parker's Drug Store, the bar, the public cell phone, Prince Grocery Store, etc., etc. And according to the question, Ernesto is going to say it's on First Avenue, it's next to the Top Shoes, is between Joe's uh, post office and O'Day's department store, etc., etc., right? And then Mario say, thank you. And then you're welcome, right? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, uh, where is the uh, shopping center? The shopping center. Yes. Okay. I don't know. No lo veo, no lo veo. A ver. A ver. Shopping Center. This is a trap teacher. Ah, no, lo que, no, lo que pasa es que tenía, tenía una pantalla, pero no lo miraba. Eh, the, the, the shopping center is um, eh, ver, es eh, the gas station. Behind. Oh, behind. Yes, correct. Behind the gas station. Okay, yes, thank Mario. you. You're welcome. Okay. 
the shopping center is behind the gas station. Or you can say the shopping center is on First Avenue. On First Avenue, right? It's an okay. example, right? Or you can say the shopping center is across from electronics. Across, for example. But your answer, your answer, Ernesto, is totally correct, right? Good. Let's continue. Next question, next conversation is going to be with... Uh, Marcela, yes. Let me see. Vamos a ver si puede, Marcela. Y... Only, the, only the, the letter A, right? Marcela, your letter A. En Josué Armando, your letter B, right? Excuse me. Where's Frank Coffee? Aha, Josué. Frank's Coffee, right? Let me help you, Josué. Espéreme, teacher, que no lo, no, no la, no la, ah, ahí está. <ríe> es que ya me cuesta ver, yo tengo los lentes. <ríe> Sería de, de Frank Coffee. It's on Maple Avenue. Thank you. You're welcome. Okie dokie, right? It's on Maple, but more, most of all, it's on Elm Street. Look, Elm Street, right? But your answer is correct too, Josué. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go to the next one. After Josué, we have uh, and Marcelo, of course. Jorge, right? Jorge and Griselda. Jorge, you make the question, please. Letter A. And Griselda, the answer. Jorge no puede responder, teacher. Ah, Está... ok. Tiene un sí. asunto de, de familia, creo que. Sí. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ok, good. No problem. So, eh, in this case, it's going to be Griselda in, in, in Glenda, right? Griselda, you make the question. In Glenda, you answer, right? Action. Just me. Where is the... It's on L Street. The, you. you are called. Excelentoso. Yes, good conversation. Easy. It's on Elm Street. Simple, right? No complication. Yes. Good. Now we're going to have uh, Dagoberto. And Chris, Dagoberto, you make the question. Chris, the answer, please. Okay. Excuse me. Where's uh, Parker's drugstore? The bank is on Pine Street. No, no, Chris. Uh, you, you don't say the bank. You say Parker's drugstore. Parker's drugstore. Understand? Uh, In the conversation, it says the bank, of course. But we're going to make a substitution. Not the bank. You're going to say uh, Parker's drugstore. Yes? Okay, make no. the question again. Please make the question again, uh, Dago. Excuse me, where's the Parker's drugstore? Parker's drugstore. Ah. It's near the top shoes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, nice. Very nice. I like it, right? Now, 
Claudia en Ana María. Vamos a ver cómo sigue también Ana María. Sí, vamos. Le vamos a poner la más fácil a Ana María. Ok, Ana María, letter A. Claudia, letter B, right? Excuse me. Where is the post office? Ajá, Claudia. The post office is it's on Main Street. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. I like it. Nice. I really like this participation, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to continue. We're going to continue. But I don't know if you have questions. Do you have no, questions? Teacher. How to use prepositions? Look, we can use many prepositions. And I will give you some examples. So you can practice, right? We can say eh, on. We can say eh, among. Between. Behind. Near, close to, or close, next to, next to, what else, pass, uh, what else, among, between, mm, next to, across from, on the corner of. Right? These are some examples. Let's say, for example, look. Uh, where is the post office? The post office is on the corner of Main and First Avenue. The post office is next to Joyce Gym. The post office is across from the park. Across from the park. Oh, uh, the post office is in front of the park, right? Uh, the post office is near gas station, for example, right? Okay, and where is, let's say, for example, where is uh, James Jamison Hotel? Jamison Hotel. Jamison Hotel is on Elm Street, right? It's uh, close, close of France Cafe. Right? Okay, these are some examples. The last example, look. Where is Oday's department store? Oday's department store is on Main Street, is next to George Gym, and is behind Parker's Drugstore. Behind, park, or behind, if you want to say behind, behind Parker's Drugstore, right? Okay? These are the examples. And then, okay, good. Now it's time to work. Listen, you are going to change the noun to its. For example, instead of say the restaurant is across the street, right? You're going to say its across the street, okay? Let's try with the first one, please. Jancy, number one, Jancy. It's, only say it's, Jancy. Mande? Only say it's. Um... <clears throat> Substitution of restaurant, it's right. Um, the rest, the restaurant. No, it's, it's, it's.
Es que no le entendí muy bien eso, profe. Okay, good. I will give you the example for you. And you make number two, right, Yancy? Okay, where is the restaurant? It's across the street. So instead of saying restaurant, you say it's. Because ah, it okay. is the pronoun for restaurant. Now, number two, please, Yancy. Um, is it? It's a. Is across. No, 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 no. Around. Al cruzar la esquina, right? Around. It's around the corner. It's around the corner, correct, right? The bookstore <laughs> is around the corner. It's around the corner. Thank you very much, Chancy. Thank you very much. Saul, please. Number three. New stand is venta de libros, right? Okay, Saul. It's mm -hmm. on the right. It's okay. Give me a second here. It's yeah. It's on the right. It's on the right. Correct. Nice, Saul. Thank you very much, Otmar. Please, number four, Otmar. It's net. To the bank is next to the bank. Omar viene de vacaciones, pero viene bien afilado, ¿verdad? Nice, Omar, congratulations. Yes, correct. <laughs> ha estado estudiando las clases, Omar. Yes, nice. Okay, now please, maybe. Are you there, maybe? Oh, okay, so. Marlo, please. Mr. Gómez, Mr. Gómez. Marlon. Okay, so Mario, please. Uh, it's, it's on the left. It's... Mm. It's on the left. Good. That's it, right? Now, Ernesto, please. The last one. It's between. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In between. New stamp. The, no, the bookstore, no, right? The bookstore. The bookstore. And, and the new, new stamp. New stamp. Is the surrounding sound, uh, Chris? The surrounding sound, right? El, el sonido alrededor. Cuando estamos participando, pues ni modo ahí ruido detrás de nosotros, pero ni modo, ¿verdad? A veces cuando estamos entre familias es muy difícil decirle a la familia que, que guarde un poquito de silencio, pero tal vez podemos resolverlo en, en un cuarto ahí, ¿verdad? Más, más encerrado. O eh, yo en mi caso, pues yo compré un, estas cositas en el mercado de las pulgas. Me costaron 17 dólares. Así que si, si pueden, pues pueden conseguirse una por ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, Jorge creo que tenía uno la vez pasada, ¿verdad? No sé si todavía la sigue usando, Jorge. Ok. Muy bien. Thank you. Good. Let's continue, right? Repeat after me, please. The restaurant is across the street. 
Repeat, please. The restaurant is across the street. It's across the street. The bookstore is around the corner. It's around the corner. The newsstand is on the right. It's on the right. The school is next to the bank. It's next to the bank. The pharmacy is on the left. It's on the left. The bank is between the bookstore and the newsstand. It's between the bookstore and the newsstand. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your participation, right? So we stand with, uh, we finish with, sorry, ya me perdí con quién estábamos. Eh, ¿Quién fue el último en participar? Ernesto, right? No. Yes. Yes, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Ernesto. Thank you. Then, uh, yes, ahí estamos en listado. Very good. Now let's erase. Okay, now let's go to the next exercise. Oh, we finished, right? We finished, right? Okay, nice. Good. I guess this is the moment to go to the final test, right? What time is it? It's ooh, almost nine, right? So we're going to go to the final test. I will share with you the platform. And we are going to do it together, right? Where can you find the, the final test? You go to section four. You open the section four. And here we have four exercises. Four exercises, right? And next to the four exercises, no, five exercises, excuse me, five exercises in unit four, right? Five. It says cinco preguntas, right? But the final test, it has only four. It has only four, right? Okay, so we go here and we open. Ya la mayoría lo terminó, pero lo vamos a hacer por cuestiones administrativas, right? Okay, good. Number one, it says... Choose the best way to use simple present. Simple present. I go to work. I goes to work or I am to work. Easy, right? Simple present. I usually drive to work. I usually drive into work or I usually drive to work. Check, please. Check. Number three, who, what, or where do you live here with? My brother. My brother is who, my brother is what, or my brother is where? Answer, please. Number four, do you, in your free time, I play the guitar. What is play the guitar? Play the guitar is where? Play the guitar is what? Or play the guitar is why? Good question, right? Now, please answer. Okay, now, let's go to number five only. Look, we are going to place in order, right? 
we're going to start with the use of the word how. How, then auxiliary subject and verb, right? Auxiliary subject and verb. Remember I say the four parts of the information question, right? WH word, cling. Auxiliary, cling. Subject, cling. And verb. Four part, right? So here we have the WH word. What is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary? Do or does? Do. Do, do right? Do, uh-huh. And what is the subject? They. The, they, right? Good. Now the rest only you, right? El resto se los dejo para ustedes. Para que no digan que el teacher les da copia, ¿verdad? El teacher me da copia en la plataforma. No, 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 please. Don't do that. Don't say that, right? Do they say hello to the princess of Ernesto? Hello. Hello. Sí, teacher. Uh, do they say hello to the princess, to your prince? To your princess, right? What, teacher? Eh, do they está saludando a su princesa? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 My, my name is Dudley. I am not the teacher. I am Dudley. Yeah. My, na my name is Mayeli. Mayeli. It's a pleasure, Mayeli. <laughs> Good night. Para ella le está enseñando. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Ernesto. Now, uh, complete the 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 the, converse, the question, right? Good. Any questions so far? So this is the first part, right? Part number one. Part number two. What time is it? It's a forty-five. Oh, it's a forty-five o'clock. Is at a forty-five. Mm -hmm. Please answer. What time does the class start? You can say it starts at six. It starts in six, or it starts on six. At in or on. What is the correct? It starts. No, 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 no. No, Yancy. Ajá. Dando copia, Yancy. Ok, ya la vimos, Yancy. Ajá. Así estuvo, ¿eh? Ya estaba. No, ya... Teacher, yo pensé que estaba preguntando, por eso oh. le iba a decir que. Ya, ya Mario ya estaba. Pensaba apuntando. yo que era. Mario apuntar iba la respuesta, mire. Menos mal que no la dijo. <risa> no <risa> creo. Bueno, Mario le gusta copiar a los otros, ya lo vi. <risa> son bromas, son bromas. Okay, good. Yes? Good. Now let's continue with the next one. Number three, right? Thank I you. Had, huh? No, hey, Mario, please. <laughs> ya ve, Yancy. Ya copió Mario la respuesta, mire. Hombre, bueno. Okay. I had a party. No, sí, él puede, teacher. <laughs> I had a party in my birthday, on my birthday, or at my birthday. Remember, birthday is a celebration, right? It's a celebration. Like you say, it's Father's Day. El día más importante del año, Father's Day. Yes. So you say on Father's Day, right? So what is the correct for my birthday? In, on, or at? So please, no me, no me respondan. No me respondan. Ustedes háganlo en la plataforma. I graduated from university in 2001, on 2001, or at 2001. Okay, now answer the following question. They love animals. 
who are the people who love animals? The politicians? The veterinarian? The astronomers? Or the pupuseros? <laughs> no, the astronomer, right? Only. So choose one. And then you go and say MBR, right? Any question for the second part, class? Any question? Okay, let's go to part number three. Ladies and gentlemen, part number three. Remember, this is the final test. Estamos haciendo el... Para los que llegaron tarde, los que se conectaron tarde, estamos haciendo el examen final, right? What time is it? It's 8.45? It's 8.45 o'clock or it's at 8.45? What is the correct answer? Yes, Jancy? Nada más una pregunta. Estaba viendo yo que la segunda y la tercera parte son las mismas preguntas. Exactly, yes. Están usando las mismas preguntas que usaron en, el, en el, la unidad, yes. Uh, es un poquito más chiquito, yes. Uh, es que si usted ya contestó todas las unidades, ya, este solo es ir a traer. <risa> Sí. Ah, Pero, vaya. Por favor, no me le va a dar copia a Mario. Ya. Yes. No, él me va a dar copia a mí. No lo sé, Rick. No lo sé, Rick. Ok, good. Part number three. Part number four. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, what are you going to do? Huge means very big, right? For example, we say the mountain, the mountain is huge. The elephant is huge. So this is positive, negative, or neutral? Teacher. Yes, tell me, Mario. <laughs> Can I tell you an observation? Yes, yes, observation. Yes. En, en Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, a mí me pareció algo que usted no nos había dado en la clase con respecto a esa a esa aseveración. Uh -huh. eh, en cuanto a huge. Uh -huh. Pero pues, si le digo, voy a, voy a seguir su plan. Entonces, no, 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 sé si... no, no, no. Usted dígalo en español. ¿Cómo, cómo le apareció ahí? Eh, usted lo había dado de una manera en clase, pero ahí aparece, es, no, no, no daba la opción, o sea, no, uh -huh. no, no la permitía. Y aparecía eh, neutral. Sí, uh, ok. Es que aparecía en los positivos. En los positivos. Sí, sí, Pero fíjese que al final, eh, al final usted puede decir, digamos, si los zapatos le quedan súper gigantes, estilo payaso, ¿verdad? Entonces usted no es positivo, no, es negativo, ¿verdad? Pero si, si le sirven un pedazo de pastel gigante. <risa> Entonces, es eh, It's an exception, teacher. It, it, it depends, right? Es como, okay. como que depende de la situación. ¿no? A veces podría ser positivo o ser negativo. Entonces, por eso ya en el examen lo ponen como neutral. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No sé si esa es la respuesta, pero yo me imagino que... Yes. Sí, pues, Thank you, teacher. No sé. Ok. No sé si a Jan si le pasó la copia a usted. Eso no sé. ¿Verdad? Teacher. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Yancy, too. Yeah. Ah, oh, ok. Toda la respuesta le está pasando. Ya ve, Yancy. No, eso no tiene corrección. Okay. Huge, huge, right? Illuminated. Illuminated, right? Positive, negative, neutral. Smelly, aquí sí. No hay para dónde, ¿verdad? Es smelly apestoso, right? Ahí sí no se puede poner neutral. Nada neutral, va. Okay, the new building, the new edificio, right? It's so bright. It is illuminated, dark or cold, right? Bright is brillante. Bright is brillante, right? Okay. Okay. Number five. His office is so old. He never finds anything. Aquí hay un error. La S no va. 
porque something, anything, somebody, anybody. Usted no dice somebody, somebody. No, you don't say, right? Everybody. Everybody's. No, no. Everybody. Aquí hay un error. Everybody. Okay. Uh, like I remember this. That he goes to, Pepito goes to his house. And the mother says, uh, 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 Pepito says to his mother, eh, Mother, everybody calls me Backstreet Boys in the school. He says, Mamá, en la escuela todos me dicen Backstreet Boys. And then the mother says, ¿Y quién te dice así? And then Pepito says, Everybody. Everybody. Okay. So everybody. No, everybody's no. Everybody, right? Aquí hay un error entonces, la S, ¿no? Yes. Ok. All, messy o clean. When I say messy, es desordenado. It's not the, the, the football player, right? It's not the football player. No estamos hablando del mejor jugador de la historia en el mundo. No, Messi es desordenado, right? Okay, good. Now, any question? Ya se van sacando 100. Okay, este no lo pasamos. No, ya lo hicimos, ya lo hicimos. Okay, so we finish. Ya lo terminamos. Easy, right? Easy or difficult? What do you think? So, so, teacher. So, so, but right? Mm. For the rules. Uh-huh, yes. Only for that. But the rest is nice. It's easy, no difficult. Easy, right? Good. Now we're going to watch some material. Okay, good. Here we have some material rela related to directions, prepositions, etc., etc., right? Now, to start, we're going to practice a conversation. Look at the picture. It's a man in New York. He's with his son, and the son has a problem. What is the problem? Listen, please. Page 87, exercise 3, conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. Thanks a lot. Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me, Claus. Ready? Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A, pu a public restroom? Hmm. Come on, repeat, please. Hmm. Good pronunciation, Mario. Good pronunciation. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Repeat, please. I'm so uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. Listen. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now. 
it's an emergency. Emergency. Oh dear. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. There is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. You can't miss it. No te puedes perder, right? You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Good. Any question, class? About vocabulary? Everything is clear. Oh, thank you, Chris. Uh, no, Jorge, right? Jorge, right? Thank you, Jorge. Now, listen Page again. 87, listen again exercise repeat, right? 3, conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Public restroom? Hmm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. I'm sorry. Don't say I'm. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh no. Oh no. My son needs a restroom now. It's It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks a lot, right? Now again. Come on, let's let's do it again. Ready? And Come practice. On. Repeat, please. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A, a public restroom? Hmm, I'm 
Sorry, I don't think so. Oh. oh no. My son needs a restroom now. Look at the boy, right? It's, he needs a bathroom. Bathroom or public bathroom is restroom, right? A public bathroom is a restroom. Well, please repeat. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You, you can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good. Now let's practice the conversation. Ta-da! Let me see. I will take two students at random, you know, al azar, a la suerte, right? In the list. Look, this is the list. ta -da! This one is Josué Armando, right? Josué Armando, you are the man and the woman. Look at the woman. Who's the woman? This one. The woman is uh, Marlon Fabricio Gomez Alvarado, right? Are you ready, Marlon? Marlon, ready? Okay, so I will take another student, right? And Ana Maria, right? Ana Maria puede. Porque si le molesta mucho la garganta, pongo otro chico. No, no hay problema. Bueno, okay, good. So you're the woman, right? Josué is the man. And uh, Ana Maria is the woman, right? Okay, give me a second. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we present Ana Maria and Josue Armando. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restroom? Mm, I am sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now it is an emergency. 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 Oh, dear. Well, there's a re restroom. In the department, in department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It was the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yet is across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Very good. Excelentoso, right? You can't miss it. No te puedes perder, right? Okay, la, different from El Salvador. You say, eh, le, let me see. ¿Dónde está la pupusería, Julia? Mire, camine hasta la esquina y va a encontrar una señora que vende pan. De ahí cruce a la derecha, va a haber un portón verde. Tenga cuidado porque ahí salen unos chuchos. De ahí se va para abajo hasta llegar a un palo de mango, así. De ahí cruza a la derecha. Ahí más o menos ya va llegando. Por ahí hay un señor que ya cuidaron unos caballos, tal vez. <laughs> okay, those are the Salvadorian direction, right? Okay, but here is the, the situation is different, right? The situation is different. Now, class, two more students, two more victims. I mean, two more students for the participation. Let me see. Ta -da. We have Dagoberto. Dagoberto and... Dagoberto and look at this in the list. And maybe, maybe puede participar. Maybe. Sí. Yes, okay. 
So maybe you are the woman and 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 Dagoberto is the man, right? In the conversation, right? Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California. Tonight we have Maybe Rivera and Dagoberto. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I do think so. I don't, I don't. Espérame, espérame. Maybe? I don't. I don't think so. Okay, yes. Oh, no. No, no, My come on, Dago, no. A... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Come on, Dagoberto. <laughs> Remember last time you said you're an actor. <laughs> you said, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you are in, in downtown, right? anda ya por el centro, ¿no? Y con el niño y ya no aguanta el pobre niño, le dio como cinco horchatas y el niño ya no puede, ¿no? Ok, entonces usted como va a decir, oh no, ok, ok, again, again, one, two, oh, three. Oh no, oh no, my son needs a restroom now, it's an emer emergency. Or the will there is a restaurant in the apartment store on my street. On Main Street? On Main Street. On Main Street. street. On Main Street. <coughs> Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of my and Fifth Avenue. Andy. In the mañana. On the corner of Main. And first is on the corner of May. Ay, perdón, no, me equivoqué. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. On the corner of me and Fritz. No, you say yes, it's across from the Ay, park. Sí, perdón. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. You can miss it. You can miss it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Ok. Si yo un poquito malita la garganta, ¿verdad, maybe? Yes. Sí. Es que Mario nos dejó contagiados a todos, bro. Yo por le dije a Mario, todos los viernes, ¿qué hay que tomar, Mario? Tea. Green tea, tequila, tequila green whisky, tea. ron, ah, Ya salió. Bro. George is coming. Aquí tengo una botella de bucanas. No, hombre, come on, we have children, we have children. Sí, digamos, In the digamos, last class teacher, come yes, on. Tenemos, George. Tenemos, tenemos niños, George. <ríe> Mire, Roberto, ya va llegando a los 17, usted me lo está despertando ahí la mente. No, no, no. Ok, good. The last couple, please, the last couple, the last couple, ready? And it's Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Claudia nos escucha. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Cómo está la internet? ¿Todo bien? Sí. Excelentoso. <risa> uh, uh, yes, I like it. Claudia en. En Marlon. Marlon. ¿Cómo estamos ahí, Marlon? Marlon. No, no, ok. No sé si está trabajando, Marlon. Ok. Good. So, Claudia, and, no le llamamos pareja, Claudia, permito, me llamamos a la víctima. Ahí. And, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Omar, o, o, Omar, sorry, Otmar, excuse me, Otmar. Otmar is going to be the man, right? Otmar the man, and Car Claudia the woman, right? Okay, ready for the presentation? Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo. We have Claudia and Otmar. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I am sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. No, that, no. It's an emergency. 
emergency. Emergency. Oh, there will. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Rest... De... Claudia, oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. dear. Like, oh, querido. Oh, dear. En El Salvador, Claudia. Ay, mi niño. Ok. <laughs> oh, dear. No. Ok, continuo. <laughs> oh, dear. When the... There's? There's a restaurant in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good. Now, thank you very much for the participation. Now we're going to go to the grammar, right? Prepositions of place. Listen, please. Page 88, exercise 5, grammar focus. Prepositions of place. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Again, again, come on. Page 88, Exercise 5, Grammar Focus. Prepositions of Place. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, that's it, right? So on. Remember, we were saying that on is surface, right? Superficie. On Main Street, on First Avenue, on Jocote Street, on Juan Pablo II Street, on, on España Avenue, right? Very good. On the corner of. Notice that we have First Avenue and Main Street. So, Cruzan las dos calles, you know, and we say on the corner of, en la esquina de, right? Then uh, across from, it's just to cross the street, right? Across the from. You can say across from, you can say in front of, and you can say uh, opposite, opposite, right? It's the same, no problem. The next to means a la par de, a la par de, next to, right? In between is in the middle, right? En la mitad, en medio de dos cosas, right? Recuérdense que si son más de dos cosas o lugares o, okay, o compañías, we say among, among. No between, among. Cuando sean más de dos, siempre among, right? Good. Questions? No questions. No questions. Right now, let's think about this. Think in one place next to your house. Pensemos en algo que está cerca de su casa, ¿no? Para comenzar, ¿cómo se llama la calle donde está su casa? On. On, I don't know, eh, Cuscatlán Avenue, for example, right? On the corner of. Si su casa queda en una esquina, tiene que decir las dos calles. On the corner of. Main Street. And first of it, right? Next one. We say, for example, eh, cerca de su casa hay un parque, entonces dice, my house is across from the park, right? O hay una pizza hut, por ahí, ¿no? O, un, o una pupusería, dice, 
My house is across from the pupusería. Next to, right? A la parte donde viven ustedes hay una canchita ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, next to, next. In between, you know, las casas de soya, de los apartamentos, los, las casas en Apopa, San Martín, you know. So, they are uh, very small. So, you say, it's next to, next to, a la par de, a la par de, a la par de, right? Next to. And when we have two houses, we say between, between, en medio de. Mi casa está en medio de la casa de, de los Álvarez y en medio de la casa de los Gómez. <laughs> okay? Understand? Okay, good. Questions? No questions. Okay, good. And says, look at the map and complete the sentence. Vamos a ver el, el mapa de tenía. Okay. Look at the places. Gas, gas station, doctor's hospital, United States post office, Second Avenue bookstore, eh, Luft's department store, Parking lot, hay un parqueo aquí, miren. Parking lot, right? Eh, we have a drugstore, una farmacia. PNG supermarket, favorite shoes. Okay. So these places are here on the streets. First Avenue, Second Avenue, Center Street. Main Street, Park Street, la, la calle del parque, you know, Park Street. So every place is located in a street, right? Okay, now let's go and answer the questions. Ready? Question number one. Vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer más chiquitito. Sorry. Ni modo, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener que abrir bien los ojitos ahí para no va a quedar algo chiquito. Ahí está. Okay, good. We're ready, right? Number one. Oh, oh we, we can make a screenshot, right? Can, do you want to work in groups? ¿Les parece si lo hacemos en grupo? Yes? Okay, good. So two groups only. Two groups, right? Uh, Mario, like always, Mario, can you help me with the screenshot? Me toma una captura de pantalla ahí, Mario. Please, thank you for your cooperation. A Mario le vamos a dar la, la, la cruz de la distinción, ¿verdad? Por, por ayudarnos siempre. Y ya está dicho que el, el lunes tiene ganado su semita ahí. El café, pues usted lo invita, ¿verdad, Mario? Pero la semita nosotros la vamos a dar. Yes. <laughs> okay, ready? Good. Veamos, chicos. Ahí está. Ok. That's it. Esto, ¿quieren que lo puedan usar? Si quieren, háganle captura de pantalla también. Pero creo que ya nos podemos todas las proposiciones, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, let's go to work in groups, right? Hoy tenemos poquitos oyentes, casi todos están activos, ¿verdad? Solo no sé si Daisy ya se conectó, Daisy. ¿Carolina? No, bueno, de ahí todos los demás están activos. Eh, quizás voy a hacer tres grupos, vamos a ver cómo nos sale con tres grupos. Let me see. Three groups. Group number one, Glenda, Griselda, Jorge, maybe Otmar and Yancy. So, pesos pesados van aquí. Yeah, eh, number two, Ana María, Claudia, Dagoberto, Ernesto, Marlon, and Saúl. Right? Good. And group number three, Chris, Josué, Armando, Carolina, 
Marcela y Mario. ¿Ok? These are the group, right? ¿Los apuntaron? Please. Cuando haga pregunta, group number three. ¿Quién, ¿En qué grupo quedé yo? Ah, no, come on, please. <laughs> ok. Ready? So, according to the map, you are going to answer the correct proposition. In, on, next to, etc. Right. Ok. Ah, perdón, no le he dado a abrir. Sorry, qué oso, qué oso. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok, ready? Let's go. Nos vamos. Coffee shop. Hello, hello. Claudia, ¿qué pasó? No, no pudo conectarse. Un segundo, Avenida. Coffee shop. Ernesto. Sí, teacher. ¿No pudo conectarse a su grupo? No sé, quiero ver que no sé qué pasó, teacher. Vaya, regáleme un segundo, quiero, ya lo voy a ubicar, ah, permita. Otmar. Ahí les mandé el mensaje, no, no se pudieron conectar. Este, sí, a mí sí me salió el mensaje, pero yo irme y siempre me quedé en esto, aquí. Vaya, permítame ah. entonces, <risa> vamos Igual a hacer yo. malabares ahí. Comienzo con Otmar, vaya, no toque nada, Otmar, no toque nada. Ya le voy a decir lo que vamos a hacer. Vaya, ahorita no toque nada. Ok. Ahora sí, Otmar, ahí le cayó el mensaje. Unirse al grupo 1, dice. Ahí estamos. Ahora vamos con Ernesto. No toque nada, Ernesto, ahí le voy a decir yo cuándo. Ok. Ahorita. No, no, todavía no, todavía no. Ya le aviso, ya le aviso. Ok. Que lo quiero en el grupo 2. Hoy sí. Ok. Él le cayó el mensaje. Ok. Eh, Marcela. Mande. Le, le cayó eh, el mensaje, más. Le cayó el sí, mensaje. Sí, le di, pero no, no me Nada, pasó. nada. Algo pasó, algo malo pasó. Permítame, <coughs> entonces, no voy a tocar nada, yo le voy a avisar. La voy a mandar al grupo 1 para mientras, pero no toque nada. Ok. Ahora nuevamente el grupo 3. Ahora sí, Marcela, dele entrar ahí, por favor. Ok. Marlon, ¿me escucha, Marlon? Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Carolina. Hello. Bueno, pues vamos a irnos a trabajar con el grupo 1. Entonces, creo que sí con Avenue X, that is Choi Sword. Sí, ya de Coffee Shop y on second Avenue X. Pero Next to Second Avenue next to or which shoe store? Shoe store. Next to sería a ver. Podría ser next to the shoe store o no sé cuál es la otra. Next to is okay. Next to is okay. Ajá, next to. Yes, look at this. Favorite wow. shoes. Uh -huh. So we have the coffee shop here, right? Hasta la esquinita, apenas se ve ahí. No lo encontrábamos, el coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> es que está bien escondido. <laughs> ok. So, okay. Pero tienen el mapa ahí, ¿verdad? Si quieren, sí, sí. alguien lo puede compartir ahí. No sé si se puede. No puede. 
Le voy a, voy a dejar de compartir yo y lo comparten ustedes. Okay. ¿ya? Y ahí todos vamos dando nuestra colaboración, ¿verdad? Yancy, Otmar, Jorge. Teacher, pero es que yo no tengo la captura de pantalla porque no puedo tomarla. Vale, le voy a dar... ahorita, está, ahorita estaba viendo porque usted la estaba compartiendo, pero Ajá, no sé pero si alguien más la tiene. tiene. Me tengo que ir al grupo número dos, pero le voy a poner otra vez para que le dé captura de pantalla. ¿Sí, ya Ahorita. Ahorita. Ahí está, ahí está ya. Voy, 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 voy. Gracias, teacher. No, thank you, Zay. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jansi. Ok. Sorry, I have to go. I have to go. I need to go to group number two, please. Okay. Ya regreso otro ratito con ustedes. Yes. Across the front. Podría ser así. Across. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Pero eh, sería al otro lado de. Eh, momentito. No, ¿Quieren ver las preposiciones? Sí, las preposiciones. Bueno, permítame. Entonces, pero déjeme Podría compartir. Podría ser solo... in front of. ¿Quién está compartiendo ahorita? Ah, ok. Ahorita les, les, les mando para que le hagan otro, otra captura de pantalla, si quieren. Ahí está. Ah, no lo veo. No, no, no lo ve. Permítame, no, 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 yo no quiero está. verificar, permítame, quiero verificar. ¿Qué pasó aquí, amiguitos? Ah, pues yo, yo no estoy compartiendo, permítame. Ahorita mismo. ¿Hoy sí? Ahora sí. Sí, sí, ahí está, ahí están las proposiciones. Ok. Ya, ok, entonces voy a dejar de compartir para que sigan compartiendo ustedes. Y me voy al grupo 3. Ahí todo está controlado con Dago. Háganle caso a Dago, que él, él sabe. <ríe> ok. Toma. Me voy al grupo 3. De regreso. Ok. Mm. Ah, the post office is. Oh, uh. In the corner. In the corner. On the corner. Center. On. Yes. Yeah. On the on. corner of center and second. On the corner. Thank you. On the corner. On the corner of center and second. It's uh, close to the hospital. Sí, yo creo que se ven. Discúlpeme que estoy tan cansado que ya no me dan las ideas. <laughs> close to the hospital. Ya somos todos, Chris. Ya vamos a ir a descansar un ratito. Ayer tenía sueño yo, pero hoy ya le pasé el sueño a Chris. <risa> la mala influencia, teacher. La mala sí, influencia. Sí. Ayer estaba exhausto, por eso me quedé de oyente. Hoy me tomé mi café para no tener sueño. <risa> yes. Ok, the bank is... The bank is between uh -huh. Main Street. Between the restaurant. No. It's on. It's on the park lot is within. It's between. It's fixed and center. center. Uh -huh. We we number number four. The post office is. The post office, the post ah, office, ya la vi, está 
and uh, sweet center. Center, ajá, uh -huh. center, centers, and the hospital, quiere hospital. Entre el hospital. No, next. Next, next. To the post office is on central in Sutton. It's next to the next hospital. To, uh -huh, next to hospital. Number five, the, the bank, bank is uh, a restaurant. And the park store is my street. The bank. It's, ah, creo que aquí sería the bank is next to the restaurant. Al revés, porque está a la par del restaurante. ¿O qué es lo que está a la par? No veo bien. Eh, Eso, María, como morado. Y yes, it's a ah, restaurant. Sí, it's a restaurant. restaurant. Yes. restaurant. Uh, sería be, sería be two, between. It's María's restaurant, look. Sería, sería porque está en medio de dos. Pero dice the bank is. Pero está la parte del restaurante. And the, the part no so is. The bank is the next to the restaurant. Uh, ah, sí, between. Between the restaurant and the part. I'm back. It's on Main Street. My search. It's my search. Alguien más? Sí, creo que sería the bank is between the restaurant y the department store. Y sería sobre la Main Street. On Main Street. It's on Main Finish? Finish. Finish. Okay, let me check the other groups and I come with you, right? Hello? I will go to group number two. Ya, ya casi nos reunimos. Quiero ver si ya tenemos el grupo dos. Let me check. Yes. Okay. Finish. Finish. Uh, y sería it's uh, it's on aquí. Uno sería next to. No, porque está entre dos, como dice aquí. The restaurant and department store. Between the restaurant the bank and department the bank. store. De que no está entre, está al lado de. The bank. Punto. <laughs> Yo creo que así tiene que ser between the restaurant and is next to the hospital. No, no me acuerdo. 
quiero ver la imagen. Number two, the mobile tip after is on the on the bar and me is on the corner of the park. Okay, I guess we're ready, right? Let's do it together. Rule number one, please. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's... Group number one, please. It's... Next to the shoe store. Sorry? Next to the next shoe to, store. Correct, next to... Next to right is next to the shoe store. Look, coffee shop next to the shoe store. Good. Rule number two, please. The movie theater is on the corner of on the corner of Park and Main Street. Okay. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Main, right? Hmm? On the corner. No me va a caber aquí. Bueno, pero ustedes entienden. On the corner, right? It's. Across from. Across from the park. Or in front, if you want to say, right? Bueno, aquí creo que lo voy a poner afuera para que no. Across. From, right? Across from. Okay. Rule number three, please. The gas station is. Across from the parking lot. Across. Across from the parking lot is first and center. It says it's. Um, First, first and center. And center, right? Mm -hmm. First and center. What is the answer? Group number three. First and center. First and center are street. Look, the center and the street. The first, right? It's a month. Among. Uh, look, this is the gas station, right? Aquí queda, gas, gas station, right? So, it's, okay, group number one, help me, please. First and center. On, next to, or on the corner of? On Frank and Center. Uh -huh. It's 
It's on Frank Center. Uh -huh. On, no, no, no. But uh, there is another preposition that when we say two, one street and the other street. Okay, I will show you. I will show you. Look. On the corner of. Yeah, on the corner of. It's on the corner of first. And second. Aquí, entre le, aquí está la gas station, miren. En la esquina de la center, aquí está la center. Y la first avenue, right? On the corner. Ok, antes que se me olvide, Otmar, ¿puede quedarse conmigo 10 minutos extra? Yes. Ok, con usted sería la última entrevista. El lunes la entrevista va a ser para todos. Todos nos vamos a quedar 10 minutos, ok. Nadie está de oyente, nadie falta. El lunes no hay excusa, ¿verdad? Que si el jefe quiere que se queden, díganle al jefe que digo yo. Ah, ok. Qué galán, ¿verdad? No, pídale permiso ahí al jefe, que ya es la última clase, ¿verdad? El lunes. Así que, y ese día vamos a hacer una encuesta que tienen que hacerla sí o sí, ¿ok? Así que, por favorcito, el lunes no me fallen, no me fallen. Now, number four, the post office, group number one. Again, please, group number one. The post office is... Nexus Center, one second. Mm, center and second, the post office is in... Mm -hmm. eh, 50 50, gru grupo número uno, le doy el 50 50. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Option one, across from. Option two, on the corner of. On the corner of. On the corner of. Creo que es la que más se repite, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver la dos. The movie theater is at, at, on the corner of park. En México, pues está bien, ¿verdad? Eh, luego dice, the gas station is on the corner of. On the corner of first. And center. Estamos bien. Y igual aquí, ¿ves? center and second, right? The post office. Vamos a ver dónde está la post office. Aquí está. Aquí está la calle del centro, right? Uh -huh. On the corner, right? Of center and second, right? Vamos a ver. Se cabe aquí. On the corner. No, no ocupo, pero bien. Okay, group number one. It's the hospital, is it, right? Next to. Next to, my goodness. Excelentoso. Next to. Next. And group number two. Ready, boys and girls? The bank is the restaurant and the department store. Between. Between, correct. Between. Okidoki, it's Main Street, says. On Main, on main Street. On oh. Main Street, yes. Good. So, class, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's next to the shoe store. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Main. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. The gas station is across from the parking lot. You can say opposite or you can say in front of. Ah, por cierto, aquí me equivoqué. <laughs> Dos opus, no, ahí está erro, error, es across from, right, you know? Okay, now. It's on the corner of first 
and center. Number four, the post office is on the corner of center and second. The post office is on the corner of center and second. Is next to the hospital. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. <clears throat> it's on Main Street. On Main Street. Like the sun, down on Main Street. Yeah. Okay, good. Any question, class? No question, teacher. Difficult, right? No question. Difficult. To use the preposition is difficult. Usar la preposición es un poco difícil. Okay. Pero ahí estamos con estos ejemplos. Yes. Okay, vamos a cerrar acá. Permítame. Okay, here. Good. Now we're going to finish the class with listening, right? Look at the map. Vamos a irnos al mapa de nuevo. Yes. Y ahora sí vamos a escuchar el audio. Page 89. Exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? Where are the people going, right? Number one. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Teacher, no se escucha. No se escucha. Oh, sorry. No, I can hear clearly, no. teacher. Sorry. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir. Y ahora sí nos vamos de nuevo. Que oso, que oso, right? Pero veamos el mapa una vez más. Está hablando del Regency Hotel. Aquí está, del Regency. Ok. The Regency Movie Theater, sorry. Ok, now. Page 89, exercise 6. I think it's on Main Street. Is it? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. Okay, creo que va a estar un poco complicado porque hay que estar viendo el mapa, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a intentar aunque sea uno, ¿sí? Ok, look. Está hablando del Regency Hotel. Vamos a verlo aquí mejor. Aquí dejémoslo con el mapa, ¿verdad? El, de todas formas, al otro lado solo están los números. Aquí lo vamos a ver. Ok, ¿ready? Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. Mm-hmm. Maria Restaurant and Luff Department Store. So, what are they talking about? What place are they talking about? Again, let's, let's talk about again. Bank. The bank, correct. Listen to four conversations. Yes, the bank. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? On Main Street, near to the Regency Movie Theater. Yes. Yes. It is. It's right across from the movie theater. It's right across, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. 
It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. So, what is it? The bank. The city bank. The city bank. Creo que le vamos a robar unos dos minutitos a Otmar. Yes. Una, una, una más. Na, y terminamos. <laughs> yeah. Two. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so what is it? Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore, my goodness. ¿Quién está contestando? Dago. Dagoberto, you're good in listening, Dago. Come on, again, again. Two. So, so. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes. It... Is, is it near Maria's restaurant? Que acerca del, del restaurante de Maria? Yes. It is. It's on 2nd Avenue. It's on 2nd Avenue. Está en la segunda avenida. Aquí está. Next to the supermarket. Next to the supermarket. Eh? Next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, class, for your patience, for your commentaries, for your working groups. You're awesome. Son sorprendentes. Gracias, gracias. De antemano, muy agradecido uh, por haber participado en el grupo. Y por favor, el día lunes, nadie me vaya a faltar, por favor, porque vamos a hacer una encuesta y hay que mandar el resultado de la encuesta al grupo de WhatsApp. Tienen que estar todos. Así que. Sí, nada... sí, y la encuesta va a ser en inglés. <risa> Have a good day. La, la primera parte es en inglés y la segunda parte también. Ah, no. No es en español. Es en español. No se preocupe, Yance. ¿Sí? Así okay. que, por favor, no me va a faltar. Have a good night. Solo me quedo con Otmar. Bye bye. Good night, bye, bye, bye. 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 See you. Bye. bye. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Carolina. Goodbye, Marlon. Bye-bye. See you. Okay, Omar. Hello. Hello. In English or Spanish? Omar. Spanish. <laughs> Come on. Ya cuando vaya al nivel 3, pues ya solo inglés, ¿verdad, Omar? Omar. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know, Omar, if you have questions. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, algún tema en especial que quisiera que viéramos. Este, sí, son prácticamente las clases, las clases que me perdí. Sí, hombre. Yeah. Ah, pero dice que con las clases se perdió antes que me diga otra cosa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, los videos de las clases están en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Quiere ver, ¿verdad? Ahí van sí. el, el, el video 1, video 2, video 3 y ahí van en orden, ¿verdad? Además de eso, yo les he enviado unas, eh, las presentaciones de PowerPoint, yo se las envío al grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, las he estado viendo. Ah, va, entonces ahí puede ir complementando, pero igual... Usted dígame qué punto quiere que veamos. Era la parte de on, at y, y in. in. Uh -huh. Ajá. En eso me confundía un poquito en cómo, cómo, cómo la diferencia de parte de la que iba a ocupar. Vaya, pero fíjese que hay dos, dos ramas, dos campos. Uh -huh. In, on y at, se, perdón, se usa en tiempo y también se usa en lugar. Perdón, perdón. Se usa en tiempo y en lugar. En tiempo se usa, por ejemplo, el in, se usa con años, con meses y con partes de, del día. Por ejemplo, in the morning, in the afternoon, ¿sí? Vaya, el on se usa más que todo con fechas y periodos de tiempo. Fechas, por oh, ejemplo. Fecha y periodo de tiempo. Uh -huh. Y el at se usa ah. para decir eh, la hora. Por ejemplo, at three o'clock, at four o'clock, at. Y también para cuando dice mediodía y medianoche. So usted dice at noon, at midnight. Ese en relación al tiempo. En relación al lugar. Vale. En relación al lugar es. El in es cuando el lugar es un cerrado. Encerrado, ¿sí? El on, cuando hablamos de superficie. De superficie. Y el at es cuando habla de lugares específicos. Pero no sé si quiere que le abra una presentación y, y lo veamos. 
por favor. Sí, sí, ¿quiere verlo con el enfocado en tiempo o enfocado en lugar? O ambos. Lugar, sí, en lugar, porque no le... En lugar, va, en lugar. Entonces vamos, ahorita le abro la presentación, permítame. Con relación al lugar. Ok, inglés corporativo, beginner one. Preposition of place, se llama, fue la, la versión 18 de la clase. Permítame, ahorita lo estamos abriendo, aquí estamos ya. Ahorita se lo comparto. Ma. Dieciocho, aquí está. Ahí estamos, ¿ok? Vaya, ahorita se lo estoy compartiendo. Permítame. Mm, creo que me equivoqué, Omar. Qué oso, qué oso. Creo que es la 17, permítame. Ahorita se lo abro nuevamente. Si sí, nos equivocamos. Eh, there is, there are. Ah, pues la 16 era. Sorry, perdón, Omar. Hoy sí. Sí, la 16 era. Ah, pero este de... Sí, sí, esta es. Vale, ahorita la comparto. Vale, aquí estamos, mire, Otmar. Eh, en esta... Tenemos las tres proposiciones. Oh, ok. Por ejemplo, cuando hablamos, Otmar, de una calle... Como es una superficie, usted no está dentro de la calle, ¿no? Que está solo. <risa> Sería on Bank Street. Ah. On the 34th. On 10th floor, en, en el piso de arriba, ¿verdad? Igual, por ejemplo, yo aquí tengo una, una tacita. La tacita está aquí en, en sobre la mesa. ¿eh? Sobre la mesa. On. On, right? Sobre la mesa. Eh, por ahí hay un cuadrito de un familiar en la pared, entonces ah, en la pared. on, sí, en la pared, on the wall Ajá. todo lo que sea superficie, on pero si usted habla de un lugar encerrado in an apartment in a house, in an office in, in ahora bien, si usted está por ejemplo, Osmar usted está en un bosque, no está encerrado ¿verdad? pero sí está en, el, en medio de los árboles entonces usted dice in the forest, in the city, en la ciudad, ¿verdad? In San Salvador. Es porque hay casas, hay postes, hay edificios, ¿no? Por, por eso se dice in. Ahora, si usted está en el desierto, on, porque no hay nada en el desierto. <risa> ¿Ok? Y el at, por ejemplo, mire, aquí está, dice, yo vivo en la calle principal, Main Street, Casa número 50. Ok, cuando yo digo la casa 50, estoy hablando de una, un, una casa en especial dentro de la, de la calle, ¿no? Sería at, específico. Yo trabajo específicamente en, la, en, la, en una, una eh, librería, ¿no? Bookstore. Yo estudio en, en la escuela Brook, Brook School. Entonces, son lugares específicos at. De nuevo, on, superficie, in, cuando está encerrado, y at, cuando se refiere a lugares específicos, ¿sí? Okay. Eso sería en resumen, más o menos, Otmar. Sí, ahí sí. Bueno, las recomendaciones del caso, Otmar, eh, por favor, practique su inglés, su inglés no solo en esta clase, sino que, que le dedico unos 15 minutos diarios a su, a su inglés. Le aseguro que va a aprender muchísimo. Hoy hay muchos recursos tecnológicos. Eh, el, el que le voy a recomendar ahora es YouTube para ver eh, canciones en inglés o Spotify, si tiene Spotify, ¿no? Le pone la letra de la canción y ahí se le, Con una canción que se aprenda semanal, ¡cling! Ya la hizo. Además, le recomiendo ver películas en inglés sin subtítulo en español, solo en inglés. Pero de muñequitos, Otmar. Ahorita estamos con el básico 1, ¿verdad? 
Ahí en, enredados, mascotas, Pinocho, La Bella y la Bestia, no sé, ahí. Cualquier película de muñequitos. Oiga, esa es mi recomendación. Y no sé si está viendo los videos que mando yo todos los días, de gramática, de escuchar, de música. Alguna sí, otra. Alguna. Ayer mandé una canción, se llamaba Holding Back the Years. Holding Back the Years. Buena canción. Para practicar inglés, lo mejor. Ok, Osmar, ¿alguna pregunta extra antes de finalizar? No. No, no. Va, entonces el lunes, sin falta, Osmar. Yes. Sería la última clase ya, yeah, ok. Bye bye, have a good night. Good bye bye.